All righty, folks. Hello and welcome to Lanier National Speedway. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. Recorded version of this broadcast at youtube.com slash John Theodore. I want to thank you all very much for tuning in. We're going to be in the number one Hot Bangers, Arc Menard Series Chevy Impala SS. This is a 60 lap race. Lanier is located in Brazelton, Georgia. It's a 0 .37, 0 .38 mile, very short track. Let's go get qualified. Hail 98, welcome. Our kid, yeah, I know. Brave. But my strategy is to go uh, qualify really well and, uh, you know, just stay out of trouble. Got a third place earlier this morning already, so. Ooh. Balance that thing on the knife edge of grip. Sliding a little bit more than I'd like. That didn't feel super quick. 5.04. Yeah, just cold tires, man. Just a little bit off balance the whole way through this deal. Got it down to a 4.90. That's fifth place. Not what we wanted. Just a little overzealous with the whole deal. Again. Better qualifying than I did the previous race, but fifth is not where we wanted to start. <sighs> yeah, just win the race. That's, that's, that's a whole deal. Thank you for that follow, by the way. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I've been having a little bit of problem. Maybe I just need to run more front brake, brake bias for qualifying because I'm definitely getting the thing you can see where this the slip angle is about right but just a little bit too free right there you can see that it actually you don't want it to be sliding you want it to be twisted a little bit in the corner but not to the point where you're actually breaking the rear tires loose i'm in teacher mode today Yeah, hopefully. I mean, there, I expect there will be a lot of incidents. I just hope we don't get involved in too many of them or any of them. Uh, yeah, hopefully we're able to avoid the mess and uh, get a good finish. Starting fifth, we're in decent shape with that. Hopefully that holds up. Kyle Young and Abigail Winter still haven't qualified, so we could... You know, those, well, you know, there are four left. It's possible that they're waiting on the track. I mean, I'm capable of running a 350, so a better lap and I would have had pull. That's already mistake number one that has cost us about four spots early. So that puts us in a little bit of hole that we're going to have to try to dig out of. Hopefully we can. At least it's not the previous race where the guy on pole was running a 216, you know. This is everyone's within my range on pace. So hopefully we can pick up a spot on the start with a good, with a good start, get up into, you know, solidify our top five spots, stay with the front three. And as we're, you know, working the 60 laps of the race, working traffic, get out there and... Um, you know, hopefully be able to pick them off one at a time. 20 seconds till we grid. Gridding up. Oh, we did lose You're a spot. Sixth. Pit road is closed. Good luck, everybody. 
I pledge to be a good sport whether I win or lose, to know that people online are real people and my words have real impact, to set a positive example with my behavior, to speak up against discrimination, hate speech, harassment, and abuse, to show integrity by honoring the rules of my opponents and my teammates, to stop, listen, and reassess if I'm told that my words or actions are par harmful, and to respect others, yeah, even if their exactly. sincere opinions are different from my own. Exclamation mark GLHF in my Twitch channel chat. Link in the description below this video if you would like to take the pledge yourself. Commit yourself to being a part of making online gaming a better, more pleasant place for everyone involved. Um, I was a lot happier when I thought I was going to be starting on the inside than the <laughs> outside. <laughs> but, you know. Just try to get down to the inside, get clear of these guys on the restart, and then work traffic for the... Uh, first part of this race. Hopefully the uh, leader doesn't get too far away. Mm. Here we go. Two pace laps at a short track. <laughs> Alex Sumption, what's going on? Good deal. Hail, roll top? Yeah. I mean, we'll try. I just, I kind of expect the top lane to get jammed up. We might have to, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what my plan is. I don't I don't really want to go three wide on the start. One of our favorite race tracks. Good luck to everyone. And sorry in advance, I literally tried, got my sim up right before qualifying. And you qualified fifth. Uh, man, just uh, remember what our goals are for the day. Ten four. Pace goes up. Do what you can. Green light. Inside. Clear low. Outside quarter. Still there. Still outside. Clear, clear, clear. Shit, man, make them eyes pop out. Let's go. Fourteen's doing pretty well for just starting up the sim before this thing goes. Right now we're fine, we're in fifth, but main thing is is that the leader's not really gapping us. Outside. That's your door, outside. Door, quarter, clear. See how he's outside. getting a little bit loose there on entry and then having to correct it? That's too much break. He's trying to do too much on corner clear. entry. really is back up your corner a little bit and focus on keeping the thing stable and getting a smooth exit. You'll make a lot better lap time, even at a real short track like this. Smoke on the bottom. Smoke on the bottom. Go to the top. We're in fourth. In the middle of the track, man, going slow. So every time I hear that spotter cue that up, I look as far up the track as I can. I want to spot that wrecked car as early as possible. Even if it means that I lose a tenth or something on that lap. I just, it's much more important to make sure that you don't wreck <laughs> than it is to get the optimum lap when the track's in a hazardous situation. Six and the three are pulling away from us just a little bit. Let's 
So yeah, the five slipping up on corner exit a bit. It's a factor of him kind of overcharging the entry. That's the opportunity that we're going to use to try to make our pass. Need to get to his bumper again first, though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh-oh, apologies. Eighteen laps in. Trying to get into a rhythm. I've been kind of out of my rhythm this whole race. I am entering a little bit high, trying to get a better run on exit. You can see he, how he's actually dipping his left side tires onto the flat a little bit. You can do that sometimes. It's risky, but if you do that right, you can get the car to rotate a little bit on center and get a straighter drive off the corner. Just tried that there, that actually felt okay. Did we just lose a guy? Yep. Someone just disconnected. The six. Oh nope, he's back. And did not lose a lap. Fortunate, sometimes when that happens you can lose a lap. but it still kept him uh, scored, which is good. I don't like picking up positions because a guy loses connection. I want to beat guys legitimately. Try to get up on the bumper of this five and work this pass. I want to... See if we can get around him and close in on those front two. They're starting to get a little bit too far away. Outside. Clear by half. cleaner race than the last one for sure last one was pretty messy this one's a lot cleaner Outside. 
still outside. Looks clear, clear, clear. So easy to just break those rear tires free on exit here. The track's pretty slick and you've got a lot of power versus how big the track is. Overdriving my entries. Outside. You're outside if you want it. Outside, outside. Still there. Clear. Three's driven away from the six a little bit. Six probably burned his stuff up, trying too hard to stay with him. Thank you for that follow, much appreciated. Welcome to the family. A little bit too, too much throttle right there. Buzz the rear tires. We got right on his bumper and then I slipped a little bit and lost a little bit of time trying to get back there. Need to find a way to get my nose underneath and I'd, I'd really rather not use the bumper. <laughs> that's not the way that I like passing guys, but short track like this, sometimes I guess that's the only way. The problem is, is that you know you're gonna get a payback on iRacing if you do that. Six is falling back to us a little bit. Wow, it's already 10 to go. This laps went by quick. Been chewing on this fives bumper all race. Oh, there goes the six. That puts us into third. Don't 
good, man. Don't overdrive it. There's also one lap car between us and the leader. Leader's got a three and a half second lead. If he doesn't make a big mistake, he's got this thing. That was the kind of drive we wanted on exit right there. Applying pressure to the five. We're gonna try to make a pass if we can. Going on the bottom there, funny. Five to go. Go high. Go high. Guy almost backed right up into us there. Touch with the wall. Two more laps. Two more hard ones, man. Two to go. We're going to get the white flag here. One more. Woo. I overdrove that exit. Too much throttle. And that gave it to the five right there. Take third. He did protect the bottom pretty well all race, yep. Check your flag. Oh. That's good, man. That's a good point today. Good solid day, fellas. That was a good race. Good race, guys. Sean, uh, congrats on the win, man. Well done. Yeah, it was fun. P3, two, two third place finishes. Gained a little high rating today. Didn't get the win we wanted, but that's all right. These races are tough to win. Come back, come back, I feel like hard, I used hard. up too much right front in that race. Yeah, about right, 85%. Versus 89 right rear. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, third place. Two third place finishes today. Gained another 20 I rating. Another zero incident point race. Is it true you gain extra SR by pulling back into your pit box post-race? I actually don't know. I've never tested that. Um, you might gain a little bit of SR for going like one more corner on, for the couple extra corners on your cooldown lap. Yeah, probably dunks. The problem was is that I was also not driving super well. Uh, you know, I could have gotten close to him. I really didn't want to turn the guy for it, but yeah, like I was trying to get close to him. I kept making tiny little mistakes that allowed him to get a little bit of a gap and then I close it back in and then, you know, um, so yeah, uh, I, did, I definitely could have, if I was driving absolute best of my ability, probably passed him, but I wasn't. So I think that was the biggest thing that held me up is that I was making little micro mistakes through the whole, through the lap several times as well. Um, but yeah, uh, it's tough to pass there, but I, I do think that had I been driving a little bit better, I could have got him. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. If you like the video, please do click that like button, hit subscribe, head over to twitch.tv slash John underscore underscore Theodore, click the art to give me a follow. Thank you very much. Peace out.